Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Arida. Today we're testing out the Ray 7.7. It is a e-scooter equivalent 125cc and it is definitely this time a good equivalent to a 125cc because usually when they say that, you know, they will hardly scratch the surface of a 125, they go to hardly 100 kilometers an hour and stuff like that. Uh, they don't have any storage space and so on and so forth but this one actually has and uh, so I'm really I'm really happy to show you this it is apparently uh, this time it is for sure <laughs> that this one is actually ma manufactured in Spain in Barcelona the company is from Barcelona and not from China and of course this does not necessarily mean a bad thing I mean ma manufactured in China but I've had so many bad e-scooters already, you know, they're not really worth it. They're, they're more, they feel more like toys, um, but not a real uh, reliable uh, traffic companion, you know. Anyways, this one also has a good power, 10.7 kilowatts. That's about 14 horsepower uh, at 4,000 RPM, I think. We have a peak power of 23 horsepower, pretty nice. We have three modes, three riding modes and one reverse, also very nice. And they are quite diff diff uh, different uh, between each other. So uh, we have a sports mode, we have a flow mode where you can go on the highway and you don't have recuperation. We have recuperation, we don't have recuperation. So you can adjust it. You have a, an app control. Uh, you can control it with an app <coughs> or rather get the data from there. You can do navigation, turn by turn nav navigation with this one. Pretty cool stuff. Of course, I cannot show this to you because you need to purchase it to show this or to, to, to pair the scooter. But um, it is actually working. The dealer showed it to me in navigation. I, I have some pictures here for you. Uh, that show what it looks like with the navigation. So I will show you the controls, the display and the storage space to you now. So on the left hand side we have the left brake lever which is the rear brake lever. Uh, in the front we also have the we have a toggle switch for the high beam, low beam passing light. We also have a, a little button there for the reverse gear. You can go reverse or you can back up reverse onto the, onto the center stand, which is very convenient if you don't want to push 
these 165 kilos onto the center stand. Uh, we also have a uh, menu button here or display button right here, left and right goes through toggles through the uh, through the riding modes you press it once you go into the menu you have a uh, a turn a normal turn signal switch which is very uh, unusual for e-scooters usually they have these crappy uh, turn signal switches but this one is a nice motorcycle standard uh, switch we have the horn here on the right hand side we have the uh, the throttle uh, we also have the uh, brake lever for the front brake. We have a CBS brake system. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have ABS. We have a uh, helmet um, storage space uh, release button here. We have hazard lights. We have the switch for uh, toggling it on off and getting it ready for, you know, for this to go. Um, that's about it. I will show you the display now. So I'm not sure what you can see actually in a display because it's quite sunny here. Uh, if you toggle, if you want to select different riding modes, you, we have three in total and one reverse. <clears throat> uh, at the moment we're in park, this little thingy I think actually means that the, si the, the center stand is down. Uh, you, you push it to the left or right, the little button here, which I showed you already, you go into a different riding mode. At the moment we have the city riding mode, you can see it up here, it also changes color. We have the flow riding mode, it also shows you the uh, power, you know, which you can expect, which is like 70% on this one. In the flow riding mode, apparently we do not have any recuperation, uh, meaning engine braking is not there. We do not charge when we like coast or brake. Uh, so this is good for highway riding. Um, actually, I want to show you everything in the display first. Uh, we have the temperatures here from the battery, from the uh, engine on the right hand side, the remaining vo um, battery capacity and the, uh, f the range uh, with the battery, which is at the moment in this ride riding mode, 79 kilometers. Down there we see the total, 273 kilometers, the trip and the uh, uh, clock. Let's uh, go to the next riding mode, which is sport. You get all the power there. We get 100% power and we have, I think, medium or full recuperation. I'm not sure. And we have city. I think we have very strong recuperation there. And we have a power of about, I don't know, 60 or 65% or something like that. To go into the menu system, you press the button once. And you can, you can go and switch around the settings here. Language, brightness, trip, reset, mobile connection, shutdown. I go back out. Uh, we have the battery information here. Uh, I, I don't go into detail in this one here. And the status, if there are any errors, there are no errors. And what else? We have system info, firmware and stuff like that. So that's it about the display and the settings. I will show you the storage space now. So storage space wise in the front we have a very teeny tiny cubby hole which you can only open with a key. It is therefore lockable as you can see. Uh, basically a smartphone will fit in there or maybe a smartphone and three or four uh, Snickers bars. We also have a USB connection down there. So this is lockable and on the right hand side we have already the charge port for the quick charger which is not included. Uh, I mean the quick charger is not included but the uh, socket is. <laughs> um, you have to pay for quick charging, you have to pay extra. Yeah, the regular charging takes about four and a half hours. The quick charging uh, about two and a half hours. You can also charge it at any uh, public uh, charging station. So uh, let's open up the uh, seating compartment here. This is the storage space. Uh, a, a regular full-faced helmet fits in there. My uh, Shark uh, Spartan does actually fit in there, but it's a very tight fit. So I'm not sure if I would trust this, but uh, you know, a smaller helmet uh, like a 
I don't know, like a um, open faced helmet definitely fits in there. I see we also have a little light in there, which is very convenient. And that's about it. We also have the charge cable, charging cable in here. We have the charging port in there. We can put, take out the uh, cable uh, going through here and charge it at home or in the, in your garage. So that's about everything I can tell you about the Ray 7.7. .7. I'll put the technical data on the screen for you so you can see everything uh, at a glance. We will now swing our butts back in onto the Ray 7.7, .7, go back to the dealer. And I can tell you already it rides very nicely. It has good power and uh, it's definitely a good replacement for any 125 scooter definitely is you can ride it with a1 license or with your standard car license here in spain uh, because it it is actually uh, like you know certified as a 125 scooter so we're back here with the array 7.7 .7, uh, 125 cc equivalent scooter made in spain yeah baby yeah and uh so we have very high hopes for this. I mean, I test rode this already and I'm very happy about this. Uh, I can highly, highly recommend it already. Let's put it into sport mode. We go down the hill and have high recuperation. Let's see about that. Uh, we can actually ride or drive off the, off the center stand. We can also back up onto the center stand with the reverse. Uh, this is actually they made a video about this so it you you can actually do that or that's what it is for because you have this you know you can push it down and then go reverse back onto the center stand and you can ride off the center stand so we turn it on and here we have the say the little symbol saying we're ready to go let's go so we're off the center stand let's go back to the dealer a big thank you to El Motorista in Malaga for, uh, for this test ride of the Array 7.7, .7, which at the moment apparently is only available in Spain. And I don't know if they ship it to any other countries, I'm not sure. It has very good recuperation. I mean, it has very good power and good recuperation. So I'm not sure how much actually energy is saved back into the battery when recuperating. But this is good for mountain riding as well, as you can see. Now, I go off the throttle, we have full recuperation here, as you can see. Yeah, that is very nice for mountain riding, the sport mode, actually. Because you have you hardly have to brake. I don't know, let's see if I actually use the, uh, the brakes, if I recuperate with that as well. How can I do that? No, I don't think. I don't know, maybe the, the rear brake or so, not sure. Anyways, I guess I need to ask them about this. Whoa, get thrown off my saddle here almost. Yeah, we have uh, actually pretty nice riding mode. City, we have the sport mode and we have the flow, which means uh, we have a car behind us. <laughs> and uh, the flow mode, basically we don't have any uh, recuperation so uh, no uh, uh, brake and no engine brake I think they're very very usable and practical these riding modes so full recuperation let's see if we can actually gain some uh, battery percentage we when we left we had 66 up from the hill and we go down now maybe we will recuperate 1% or something <laughs> I don't know so Anyways, the mirrors are very nice, motorcycle standard, the plastics, the haptic, the feeling of it feels very nice, feels like a regular, uh, regular, com with a regular scooter with combustion engine, um, it does not feel cheap. Um, uh, talking about cheap, let's talk about the price, <laughs> which is also not cheap. It costs around about 8,000 euro on the street and I think that's quite a lot but uh, yeah uh, as I said at least it is a, of very high quality it is made in Spain and um, I think that's a very good thing and very good sales uh, point here you know that they have um, yeah it's a very speedy little cannon and I think, you know, they, they say 125 kilometers per hour. 
So that is basically more than a regular 125 can go. And um, we, the range is not too bad. It's uh, as a as a in a mixed uh, environment you know you get about 150 kilometers if you go city and highway if you only go highway for 100 kilometers per hour straight you still get about 100 kilometers of range so that is not too bad actually you know the braking system just reminds me <laughs> The braking system is CBS unfortunately it's not ABS I don't know why they have decided to do that because for this price for this class for this high quality uh, they should actually have put ABS in it they should also have put uh, keyless go I don't know why they did not do this because you know it's app controlled and everything and it has navigation as well if you have connected it to your f uh, phone I don't know why they did not put uh, keyless go in there. It looks kind of outdated with the key actually. But okay, that's uh, what they did. The, the, the other thing is, you know, you can actually change the height of the seat, which is pretty nice. You cannot really do this with any other scooter. Uh, you can change the height of a, to about, uh, to a difference of about three centimeters, I would say, or one inch and uh, also the the center stand is a little bit different you know as i showed you already you can go onto the back onto the center stand with a reverse gear you can also ride off the center stand you don't have to push it down or pull it pull it up uh, on the center stand so that's pretty good yeah as i said or uh, app controlled you can see a lot of data you can see where you went because it has G uh, not gps but the gps of your phone will tell you uh, you have you can see a lot of data i will put the uh, some pictures i took from the dealer because i cannot connect it to mine because i i'm not a owner of it uh, they have to register that and everything and then you can connect to it uh, but if you are a uh, a owner of this bike uh, you can actually use the navigation I, I show you some screens which I took or some pictures which I took um, and it has turn by turn with you know little arrows shows you turn by turn uh, how to get to your to your where you want to go yeah the um, also in the mountains with a sport mode it le uh, leaves a very good impression because you know it recuperates a lot it has a lot of power uh, I th I'd say more power than a regular 125 scooter so in the mountains it feels you know it, it is fun to go it is a lot of fun also the torque is fun it is not quite like a zero or something <laughs> but it is definitely a lot of fun apparently it has almost 300 newton meters we will do a zero to 100 check in a moment i haven't been impressed in a long time uh, riding electric scooter i've been on the ifan puma for uh, after you know it's been a while i don't know three or four years ago that has which had a nine kilowatt motor i think that was almost like this here it felt like this but i think you need at least this much power to have fun on an e-scooter definitely all the others are really no fun bikes but this one is definitely suspension also seems to be good the seat is fairly hard but yet i think for oh well, yeah i cannot really say longer rides because you know you have a limited range uh, naturally but still for 150 kilometers definitely okay i'd say the yeah the braking system is cbs not abs i might have mentioned that unfortunately the cbs not adjusted as i know like from honda on the vision it is a very nice cbs you press it and you basically come to a complete stop without even slipping well, this one here actually does slip and i don't really like it as you can hear already yeah we lost some some rubber already <laughs> you can only charge it as i might have mentioned at home 230 volts uh, it comes included already in the package if you want to have it charged uh, on uh, in a quick charger or on the public charger you actually need to buy the extra module which costs i think around 350 euro or something 
and then you can charge it from zero to full I think in two and a half hours or something and that is pretty nice and um, the regular charge I think takes about four and a half hours yeah apparently we have full LED front and rear also the blinkers are full LED should be like this and nowadays right also the display leaves a good impression also at uh, direct sunlight of course not that much not that good visible but still visible when it's directly uh, when the sun directly shines on the display you can still see it not 100 percent though but still okay um yeah i don't know maybe there would be a good idea if they could actually make a different mode as well you know to to switch the uh, uh make it inverse you know some people like it maybe black on white or white on black and then the contrast is higher like uh, you put it on white and the black colors uh, black uh, numbers that would make the contrast better and uh, they should also include that that would be a good idea actually Pretty nice, pretty darn nice I think, definitely comparable to other 125 scooters. So let's head back to the dealer, let's put in our flow mode here, yeah, this is no city mode, flow mode without regeneration, yeah, so we have no engine braking. Maybe we should use the full power on the on the on the hill here. Let's switch it to a sport mode to get the full 100% power. We don't fall behind. Yeah, pretty speed little cannon actually to go up the hill here. It is a very tough hill. A lot of 125 struggle with that, but yeah, this one does not really struggle. We have so much power left here at 90 or so, it's crazy. can definitely go 125 okay we're going down the hill a little bit but still I'm sure it can go 125 I am pretty sure city mode also pretty nice and acceleration not too shabby yeah anyways uh, you see it is pretty quick it is pretty quick from the start it is nice there it has high quality plastics and everything it feels just right a very good replacement for any um, other 125 cc and uh, yeah 
I can highly recommend it to anyone in the market for a new electric scooter at the moment in Spain you also get about 1,000 euro of uh, uh, I don't know how you call this you know uh, the uh, the bill will be reduced by about 1,000 euro because you get 1,000 euro back from the government because you're buying a environment environmentally friendly vehicle and uh, it is available and I think in four colors I'm not sure I will check it and put it on the screen once again but I think there's only one color which is not which is included in the price all the other colors cost extra I don't know 100 or 150 euro for extra color you'll check out the website they have it available in um, English and in Spanish that's uh, my review my test ride of the Ray 7.7 .7. it leaves a very good impression thanks very much for watching this is Ben Arida out take care bye bye